This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I'm Lucy Ademi. A Malian government official says at least 95 persons are dead following the latest massacre in the central part of the country. He blamed the killings on tensions between ethnic militias. Interior Secu Security Ministry spokesman Amadou Sango says the attack took place overnight in an ethnic Dogon village. Another 19 persons were missing. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the bloodshed in the village of Sobani. The violence is worsened by the presence of Islamic extremists in the area. The United Nations peacekeeping mission in Mali has sent aerial support to the area so as to prevent a new attack. A team of UN human rights investigators is also assisting Malian authorities in their investigation of the massacre. President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, who has been attending a conference in Switzerland, says he's cutting short his trip following the massacre. Boubacar Keita condemned what he called barbarous act that nothing could justify. He urged Malians to come together and called on people's sense of responsibility and citizenship in not taking the violence further. The president says the country's affairs could not be driven by a cycle of revenge and vendetta. The Malawi government has ordered the suspension of all radio and television calling programs saying it is concerned the shows could trigger more post-election violence. Supporters of press freedom in the country are denouncing the orders slapped on TV and radio broadcasters on Friday by Malawi Communications Regulatory Authority, MACRA. The regulatory authority says the suspension was immediate and indefinite. Director of one of the broadcast stations, Capital Radio, Alunde Osman, was quoted as saying they are quite angry and disappointed and that the suspension has dealt a blow to their normal programming. Marcus said some broadcasters had engaged in careless and unethical coverage of unrest that followed the disputed May elections and expressed concern that chat shows could inflame further violence. Malawi Press Freedom Group Media Institute for Southern Africa says the government order violates freedom of expression. Broadcast managers are planning to meet with the Communications Regulatory Authority this week to discuss the matter. We'll be back after this message. Niger and Tunisia will join Estonia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Vietnam on the UN Security Council in January. The five were elected on Friday to two-year terms on the UN Security Council. The UN body consists of 15 national and is responsible for maintaining international peace and security. The five new countries will begin their term on January the 1st next year. St. Vincent and Grenadines Prime Minister Rav Gonsa Gonserves said his island nation views this as an historic occasion, expressing delight that his country of only 110,000 population was the smallest country ever to be elected as a non-permanent member of the Security Council. Tunisia and Niger will represent Africa on the Council and they could figure prominently if Libya and the Sahel continue on the top of UN agenda. The five new Council members will replace Ivory Coast, Kutera, Guinea, Kuwait, Peru, and Poland, whose terms end in December. They will join other non-permanent members, Belgium, the Dominican Republic, Germany, Indonesia, and South Africa, as well as the permanent five members, Britain, China, France, Russia, and the United States. That's CNN News Brief. For details on these and other stories, visit our social media platforms and join the conversation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at CNN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.